Good evening, welcome. It is the stream for MS Official. This is Jake Turn, and we're here with the Stock V8 at Gowanya. It's the first round of our Stock V8 uh, Season 24 uh, Championship. Um, lovely combo, lovely car. We're in Automobilista 2. Call is about to begin, so let's roll those intros and get out on the track. Perfect timing. I am the host tonight, and I've just clicked OK, uh, or continue, rather, to start the prep, uh, qualifying session. Uh, give me a moment, guys. I'm going to nip to the boys' room um, before I start my qualifying session. So I'll be back shortly. Um, let's uh, quickly go on track, and then we'll uh, monitor somebody um, to uh, allow you guys to have something to watch whilst, uh, whilst um, I go and uh, make myself comfortable. Back shortly. Quickly go and say hello to everybody in Discord before they start their flying laps. Quick hello guys, I know you're about to start your flying laps. The stream is live. If you've got a moment to say hello, that'd be fabulous. Hello. hello. So we've got a few people in the Discord chat. We've got Franco, Giorgio, uh, James is here as well, new driver, uh, Johnny B, and Loz. Uh, good luck in quality, guys. I'll leave you alone. I'm muting my mic. Have fun. Yeah, good luck, guys. As usual, no, you know the show. We'll still be able to hear them if they want to talk to us, and I can unmute my mic to be able to uh, um, uh, talk to them if I need to. We're just going to unmap my uh, windscreen wiper button. In fact, we will just change the windscreen wiper button. Wipers. Let's do that one. That do. And let's go and take some fuel out and go turn some laps. Yeah, let's go with 25. Yeah, 25. Now we'll go with 23. 23. Right. Drive, off we go. Well, nearly going. A little faffing around with all the various settings so I can see what I need to be able to see. There we go, that's it. Oh, and immediate stall. There we go. Forget that pit limiter. We were doing alright in practice. We were nearly the fastest time to Johnny, Johnny B 1990. Picked me to the post by about the tenth. Uh, some hope. It set a decent lap and be up the grid tonight. Car's feeling good, combo's feeling good, one of my favourite tracks. Weather's good as well. Right side, clear. Left side. Yeah, right uh, side. Uh, kind of thing, incorrectly alerting us. Uh, the creator, it's not Kuchif, actually, it's a P Mobilist uh, 2 or something, I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called, but nonetheless, calling out incorrectly. But there right is a. Sorry guys, warning, I've just taken out the um, 150 marker 
into the sort of left-hander that's halfway around the truck. Sorry. I promise it wasn't on purpose to get a better lap time. Sorry. Uh, trying to play the mind games. <laughs> mind games. Mind games already. A little bit of driving there, taking out the, uh, the 150 board that people will want. Oh, censored, still wrapping the brakes, get the front turned in, using the power on exit. Not one too deep, but okay. Power down the hill. Heavy braking third. Gently rubbing the brakes and then feathering the throttle. Powering out once more. Car feeling really good. And some annoying person, be me, taking out the 150 marker there. That's disturbing. So I haven't changed anything from practice, but I did one lap and my oil was at 159 and my engine blew. Oh, so I better keep an eye on the old engine temps then. Yeah, that was on this 50% radiator, so. Oh, right. Go on, your ears. Uh, a very hot track. So well, that's certainly that's how it's modelled in AMS1 as well. So, uh, um, yeah, it might be worth sticking out a notch or two on the old. Uh, Radiator. Cheers for the heads up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cheers for the heads up, Johnny. What a great first flying lap. So far, Best of exits, but it's a good lap. It's near the front, but it's not fastest. It will go and adjust the radiator. I do think we're going to need to do it. Yeah, I was pushing 107 degrees on the old oil temps down to start finish straight with the 50 radiator on lap 3. So, um, yeah, definitely worth more radiator, I think. Was that on 50%? It was. I'm vaguely worried it's some bug, as I've now got mine on 80 and it's just happened again. Oh no. So one with putting the ring back on makes a difference. Putting, putting the what back on? 
So I took the wing down to two. Yeah. And added race fuel, so like 80 litres. Yeah. And that's the only changes I've made since practice. Okay. That shouldn't affect engine damages, but... Um... Right. Um, yeah. More, um, to make it more weird, I'm not having any issues. And I've been running like five laps. I'm getting mild engine damage. Where do you see the engine damage? Oh, it's, oh you see it in the... I see, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. I mean, I was 107 on lap 3, as I say. I might... I mean, I don't know how aggressively you're downshifting, uh, Johnny. Mostly, that could push you further into the red zone and induce damage. I don't know. In AMS1, as my main experience with these cars, they do run hot, but they do not incur damage uh, as a result. They're meant to be pretty bulletproof engines at these. Right, four minutes 40 on the clock, try and improve our lap time. Improvement to go up a position or two. Yeah, I have a mystery bug. I'm just at idle and it's just not going down. Good. I mean, probably I mean, it's not that good. Like, there's not that much error. No, no, so I was coasting. So I was at speed oh, and so coasting. Oh, and, and yeah, the temperature was remaining exactly yeah. where it was. Is it worth doing a. Oh, you did that with the reset to default? That's what I'm about uh, to just suggest. just done it now. I'll find out. Okay. Fingers crossed. Oh, we're not doing so good. Fourth at the moment, but only a tenth behind the leader, 0.114. Down. One more 
Slayer. Car right, clear all round. On your left, clear all round. Very poor corner. I think that's probably stuffed up this lap. And he had an amazing last sector. We're going to have to settle with force. Well done, Franco. Don't call it up yet. <laughs> My fuel usage in quali was significantly higher at 3.5 litres a lap. And that would put our estimate for the race wrong. Um, just so you know, guys. How much so that would... Uh... Well, my calculation, but with just half a lap to spare and no allowance for push to pass, is 79 litres. It was 68 before. So I'll be taking at least 80, which might be excessive, but in quality, my fuel usage has gone up by half a litre a lap. Yeah, I mean, taking account that you're pushing the car, Way harder from quality. Mm, I don't know. I was trying as hard as I could. I mean, I use less fuel when you've got more fuel in the tank because you're just slower. But last thing, I've run out of very fuel before, and I know that AMS2 is a bit erratic with its fuel usage because of you know, weather temperatures, uh, sorry, temperatures and all the rest of it. I wouldn't sure. be taking less than 80, would be my advice. But obviously, you guys do be like, oh, I'm taking more than 80. I still can't believe I got pole. Well done, sir. Yes, congrats, sir, Franco. That weird one. Uh, yes. Push to pass, I better map a button. Yes, it is push to pass, you need that boost button mapped. Um, was that Johnny? Johnny? Fuel for it as well. Yeah, um, I think I'm going to take... I think it's probably... I'm going to take 82, no, 83. I think that's going to be take enough. 85, just to be extra safe. 86. <laughs> now you've got me worried. 87, 87. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, Johnny, do you think your engine temp issue has resolved, do you think? It definitely hadn't, but it didn't happen oh, in practice, so or... maybe it's the sessions broken. Who can be sure? Okay, fingers crossed. Well, I hope I hope you don't end up with engine failure. Yeah, I hope you don't engine... Running Sorry, with a hundred percent radiator, so okay. hopefully it'll be fine. Fingers crossed for you. Thank good you. good luck, guys. Don't forget to ready up. There's forty seconds on the clock, and hopefully it's going to be a fun race. Uh, certainly very close. The whole field was pretty close. So have fun. Rick Manuel. What the fuck? Oh. Right side. Oh no, okay. something crazy happened.
was that lag? I don't yeah. know what that was. I don't know what that was. There was some. No, that was server lag. Uh, oh, server lag. Okay. Yeah. I crashed just appeared in front of me. And oh, was, sorry, Franco. Yeah, we we had you, no choice. Are you still able to race, Franco? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, what is me without a combat? Right? Yep, oil temp, 150 and rising. Oh, mate. Oh, no. oh, sorry, Johnny. Maybe it's the Chevy. Yeah, no worries. so I can't even coast into it.
comes Rosilla Gabriel with a PHP. Okay. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear all round. Battle with Gabrielle. Turn to PGP. Hi, right, Rob. Show you could race, mate. It's a lovely combo. Just had an interesting book, Johnny 1990. The engine is massively overheating, started in quality and uh, race session, and to the point of it's blowing up due to overheating. I think he might be in the Chevy. I'm not sure if he's the only one or not. He's done a reset to defaults and all that sort of stuff. Oh, here comes Gabriel. Right side. Clear all round. Full overtake this time. This time he hugs the apex very well. Prevents the over and under. Lovely move by Gabriel. Left side. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. All clear. Bit of a dive bomb. I was going for late braking, wasn't really intending the overtake. Had to cut to the inside to avoid contact. I was winning. <laughs> Ray Silla, Gabriella just snuck through. It's a lovely combo. Harry. Far back, I think, to this time for the P2P to be effective. Remember about push to pass.
the assignment. Gabriel will have PTP down the start from this straight. Being in his draft, but I don't think we're close enough. Yeah, look, driving away this time. Yeah, lots of them far behind. about holding on. Gained there. Gabriel will P2P away from me. Is Rob. I'll have a look at um, if he is the only one that's in the Chevy. That might be related to the cord, if that is the case. Or it might be a fault only with his Chevy. I think Ray Sill has got this now, half of the race gone.
Yeah, but um, the Chevy hit 150 and then had engine failure. Um, don't know if it's just some weird bug. The only, um, only uh, Johnny was getting that was with a 100% radiator, and it didn't occur till the quality session. It was fine in practice, and it occurred in quality and in base. We know the Grand is a hot track. In fact, my engine is running at 110 ish. Right, so we'll have P2P this time. Racel is running lower wing, so maybe as the race gets all to final stages, he might start to struggle. It's possible. for me tea. All right, clear all. Uh, potatoes. Um, trying to distract me. Potatoes, uh, fish fingers. Uh, something else I can't bloody remember at the moment. Oh, uh, some cabbage, spiced cabbage. Potatoes with potatoes. I forgot my peachy bloody pea now. Back to me. Yeah, spot stop pudding as well. <laughs> Are you trying to get us all to catch up? I see. That's a bit fast. What a great lap, this one. Uh, Ray still is starting to make mistakes. There's not much chance of us catching up now. Had some quality on pole, had some weird server like at the start. We've been playing team catch up and he's just behind Loz now.
Oh, he's there now. Eight minutes to go. He's coming right for us. Does that make mean that you guys are team anybody but Jim? Is that how it works? We're going to have some nice smoked salmon um, with our potatoes, uh, but unfortunately we mistimed the cooking of it and it wasn't quite ready as we started serving everything else up. We opened up the packet and realised it wasn't quite cooked. And then it turned out the reason why we had most of the vegetables is because uh, there was enough vegetables and we were all pretty full and by the time we'd eaten all of those and the salmon was ready, it all would make more sense to save the salmon for the next day. doing a few fish fingers because there wasn't enough salmon for everybody and the youngest uh, she's okay with the salmon but she likes fish fingers more so there was a few fish fingers that got shared out very interesting stuff for you guys I'm sure you're intrigued to know how our evening meal went down Uh, wrapped in foil in the oven, wrapped up in foil, lemon juice, keep all that steam in. Oh, we did have Yorkshire pudding with it. Obviously, we didn't have Yorkshire pudding with it. Posh Club. Just need Ray Silla to make some mistakes. Not like it's going to, though. A nice lap there.
He is disappearing into the distance of Miss Salmon. I'm having that for me tea tomorrow. Like just then. Well, the 50 board as well as the 100 board, which went a while ago, are gone on that corner now. The 100 board's gone here. I might have been gone for a while actually. Two and a half minutes on the clock. And Gabrielle keep it cool and calm. Bring home the win. A nice first sort of third of the race battle with Gabrielle. Then he managed to pull open a little bit of a gap and just drove away since then, really. They're pulling out about 0.3 or 0.4 a lap. It fluctuates because one lap I get PTP, and one lap he does. It was a deliberate decision to offset the PTPs early on. He was behind and I knew he would use it, and I didn't, and we managed the over and under on lap two or lap three, it might have been. That allowed us to offset the P2P, which made it a lot more interesting. Whilst we were close enough to be battling and exchanging positions on P2P. Final corner there. Oh, cheers, Rob, for the extra sub. Very much appreciated. Anybody else got a Amazon Prime sub going spare? Send it our way. Helps serve the funding. Yeah, that's the one, Barry. Barry, you hopping on the 1958 server after this? She'll be there. mistaken and I might well be. She's a Japanese uh, FEMA. Oh, you might have to educate me if I've got it all wrong.
some more corners for race Silly to bring home the win. Got some traffic ahead, but he will just be probably happy to sit behind. Keen that no mistakes happen. He's not really under any pressure. With only one corner to go and a peachy pie, peachy pee in the bag, probably for him. Tranquil, close to gap a little bit. That probably would have been. Probably would have been a fun little battle had Tranquil not suffered a lag crash Ponterino. Good start. Over the line we go. Yeah, Shamu didn't quite have the pace to keep up with Gabriel because that was some nice battling, similar pace. But yeah, he pulled out six seconds at the end. Very good racing. Here he is. Hold on, this is where I dive bombed him. How'd you do, Loss? On well, sixth place, you were third or fourth at one point. What happened, mate? Yeah, my, my mistake. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I don't mean to bring up bad memories. <laughs> uh, Gabriel just drove away from me once he was past. We exchanged uh, P2P overtakes in the first third of the race, which is quite fun. But then he opened up about a second on me out of the slipstream, and yeah, cool and calm and consistent was Gabriel. Who took the win. Frank, Franco, you were closing in, my friend. Not by much, but you were closing in, so it's a shame. We had that lag incident because I think that would have been an interesting yeah. battle as well. Well, a race of what would have been, from me at least. I think when Franco drove past me on the start finish straight, like mm -hmm. I wasn't even there, I re that's when I realised it was pushed to pass because he just went flying past me. I actually. Oh, why is I, my car completely red there? That's like not my skin. Doing push to pass. Pretty sure that was um, not my skin there. It's a him. solid red car. Have said it one lap. That's a bit strange. So I actually had the chance to actually not overtake. I don't know what happened there. Uh, yeah, but I, I didn't know Push the Pass was there. That's why he was getting past me. Oh. Okay, that was really good. Yes, Push the Pass is um, is always uh, a good one to map the old button for. <laughs> what you, what you know it's there. Did you have a button mapped, um, Mr. Hogan, once, uh, once you really remembered it? Yeah, well, you said it just before the start, so I quickly mapped my um, wipers to um, Push the Pass. But then I forgot oh. about it. It was only when oh, Frankie okay. came past. I thought, how is he going so fast? And then I yeah, 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 yeah. That's one hell of a draft he's got there. Oh, yeah, P2P. Yeah. Yes, it's um, it's a nice feature. It was some close racing. How did everybody go on? It looked like there was a couple of groups. There was a, a group around 5th, 6th and 7th, I think. And certainly 3rd and 4th are battling. 4th, 5th, but I There we go. Thank you very much. Well lost. Sorry, Franco. Uh, thank you very much for racing, guys. I'm just going to go finish off the stream, but appreciate it. I hope you had good fun. Um, the ooh, excuse me, BMW on Monday, and we got the 1958 in AMS1 Formula 1 uh, championship tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, hopefully see you on track again soon. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Jay. Yeah. See ya. Cheers. Thanks. So, yes, thank you very much, guys, for tuning in, and Barry and Rob. Um, yeah, it isn't orange, it was solid red, and I don't really know why solid red because it definitely wasn't the car skin I chose, so some weirdness going on there. I don't have any skin packs or anything installed. Uh, but a good race, really good feeling car. It's a shame, Rob, that you couldn't make it. Barry, if you're thinking of doing AMS 2, I'll tell you, the stock V8 was one of the best ones to um, um, to get into. It felt really nice, really did enjoy it. So, um, um, memories of doing similar races in AMS 1, that's how good it was. Um, so, you can't have this race. I'm going to hop on the 58 server probably, so I might see you there. Barry, going to quickly try the Ferrari and uh, see uh, see how we do. Uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, catch you in another stream tomorrow night with the Automobilista Formula 1 uh, 1958 Jump Ship. Cheers, and enjoy the rest of you.